Fab.com, one of the most successful startups of the year. We've talked about it here on Money Moves. It relaunched last June as a high-end flash sales site, and as of this month, has two million members. It was valued at more than two hundred million dollars in December when Andreessen Horowitz bought a stake in the company, and now it's launching a European arm by purchasing a German company in an all-stock deal. Jason Goldberg is the CEO of Fab.com. He joins me now from. Our bureau in Berlin, where he's just announcing this European deal. Jason, bold time to be buying a company in Europe. Tell us why you did it. You know, we believe that design is a universal language, and you know that great design can be found everywhere. Uh, you know, Fab, you know, really, you know, we've come out of nowhere and created a movement around design. We have now two and a quarter million members in the U.S. The company didn't even exist nine months ago. Uh, grown super fast. Over 750,000 members have signed up for Fab.com in the U.S. just in the last 45 days, and you know we think it extends uh, beyond just the U.S. And so we went shopping here in Europe, uh, looking for a great, you know, great place and a great company to start off uh, Fab in Europe. And we, you know, we landed up here in Berlin, where we found a great team, a company called Casa Conda, um, which was doing something similar to us. Uh, and you know, they join our team now, and we'll be uh, launching Fab across Europe. We actually launched earlier today uh, Fab.de, which is uh, basically Fab.com in Germany and Austria, and we'll be spreading across the rest of Europe very soon. Well, congratulations on the new acquisitions. You know, I checked out Fab.com in preparation for this interview, became a member. A lot of it is what you call targeted design. You pick out the products. There's a lot of taste and a lot of work that goes into this that makes it not your traditional e-commerce site. Yeah, you know, we believe that great design can be found at all price points and all categories. And what we're proving out is that there's a new phase of e-commerce that moves beyond, say, what Amazon did in e-commerce e 1.0, which was about just searching for a specific product and buying it based on price. We believe that there is an, a second phase of e-commerce that's being led by folks like Fab, um, which is about you know discovery. It's about finding something new. It's about uncovering a great find. And every day, Fab, we our team of uh, of curators, we handpick items. Um, it's actually a lot of items at this point, about 6,000 items on the site per day right now. Uh, but we handpick you know, items from leading designers, both uh, kind of young emerging designers as well as well known brand name designers at all price points. We have items on the site that are a dollar, that are five dollars, all the way up to ten thousand dollars. And it's really all about the hunt, all about discovery, and in many ways about social. Uh, social is really built in the core fabric of Fab.com. Over 50 percent of our members have come from social media, uh, sharing on Facebook and Twitter, and that's really the big part of why we've grown so fast. Mobile too. Uh, and you know, every single day, for instance, Mobile's huge. I mean, every single day on Fab, we have 15% of our visitors coming from Facebook, and we're now at uh, at 40% of our daily visitors coming from mobile, which is phenomenal. And uh, you know, think about it this way: is you know, we, you know, two and a half million members counting uh, Germany now. Uh, you know, all of them joined in the last eight months, and 40% coming from mobile apps. So those are eye-popping numbers. Great sell to private equity, venture capital. You've had no problem attracting capital. What's next when it comes to raising money? Any talk of going public? You know, we're just at the beginning stages of this. Again, you know, we've only had our, our, you know, our service up for nine months now. We're well on a pace to achieve over $100 million in sales in the calendar year 2012, which we think is a good milestone for the first full calendar year of business. We had an incredible year last year, ended on a really great run rate, a great holiday season. And the way we look at it is we're building a business for the decades. And what I mean by that is we're not here for a short-term win. We really think that we have the opportunity with Fab.com to build a brand, you know, the next Amazon.com. And, you know, Amazon, you know, invested billions in building a billion-dollar business. And we're going to, you know, invest what it takes to build Fab to be the brand that equals design all around the globe. And you're different than Amazon.com. Important distinction here because with them, it, you know, it's more about the price, getting the bargain price. With you, the element of design is a whole new one. You know, design is something where, you know, there's a lot of products that people buy, whether it's a couch, a chair, it could be a pen, it could be a backpack, an iPhone case, where it's not just about the price. It's not just about finding that specific item. It's about the hunt. It's about discovery. And we think that many consumers, millions of consumers, when given the choice between buying the commodity item or buying an item that actually makes them go, wow, makes them so go, you know, I have an emotional attachment to this, we'll choose a design object. And what Fab's team does is we scour the globe looking for great designs at all price points, all categories, and we bring them on the site and we sell them. We have three-day sales, we have seven-day sales, we have 30-day specialty shops, 
And the model basically is, you know, to create a beautifully crafted website selling beautiful products at price that people can afford with beautiful service. And we just do that again and again and again every single day. And it seems to be working. Thanks to Jason Goldberg, CEO of Fab.com from our Berlin newsroom there.